Take care of yourself. Yes? Shall I prepare your majesty's bed? No, I shall remain in here. Where am I handshaking? God, God, take this fear from me. What is it I fear? Capture? Wounding? Pain? Death? I've never feared them before. Why should I fear them now? The thought of losing my battle, is that it? I can't lose it, I'm invincible. It's the thought of winning my battle, is that it, God? If it is, then my fear is nothing. Tomorrow I'm master of the world, the mortal partner of the gods, or I'm dead. Either way, that is nothing to fear. So take this agony from me. Father Philip, I invoke you then. Look down at me now and sneer. Say, what a weak, effeminate coward I have for a son. Say it, Father. You said it often enough in your lifetime. Say it now and help me by making me angry. Thank you, dear Father. I'm very grateful. I gave orders I was not to be disturbed. I've two things, sir, and they both concern your life. Yes. Well, the first is this. Our agents report that Darius has made a selection of his special horse guards, the so-called immortals, whose single aim in the battle tomorrow will be to cut their way through to wherever you may be and to hack you down at whatever charge themselves. Each man has taken a separate vow to kill you or die. Then I suppose they'll die. <laughs> Which for immortals should prove an interesting experience. I must beg of you, sir, to take the threat seriously. And I would suggest that tomorrow you neither wear your red cloak nor ride Bucephalus. They make you so conspicuous. Well, exactly. And so if I might suggest, sir, perhaps uh, someone else might. Uh... And who do you suggest? Well, if I were to shave my beard off. <laughs> oh, no. You're still 40 years too old and much too ugly. <laughs> Besides, old Bucephalus would never forgive me for allowing someone else to ride him into battle. No, I appreciate the offer, Parmenian. What was the other thing? No, it's more serious, sir. A plot against your life here in the camp. Go on. A Persian spy whom we caught yesterday confessed under torture that his mission was to achieve your death by poison. And how was he going to do that? Through an agent. What agent? Queen Mother of Persia. <laughs> Poor man. What a forlorn mission they gave him. He was on his way back to the Persian camp when they caught him. The Queen Mother had promised to do what he asked. I realize that this has come as a great shock to you, sir. How was it to be done? I understand she's in the habit of preparing you some kind of drink each evening, isn't she? Yes. You may have noticed that she hasn't done so tonight. You haven't? No. I've left a few to deal with. And you haven't said anything to her at all? No, sir. I merely had the sentry prevent her bringing you the drink a few minutes ago. I said you were stood in council. She was angry, I may say. She said it would get cold. Miss Harris! Yes, master? Tell the Queen Mother I'm not ready for my drink. Sorry, sir, I realize yes, I was taking this Yes, thank you, Parmenian. You did your duty. Leave me now, will you? Yes, sir. Here's a verbatim account of the interrogation, if you wish to confront her with it. Go now, please. Perhaps as a precaution, we might have the sentries inside the tent? No. Good night, Parmenian. Until dawn.
Her Majesty awaits your pleasure. Let her pass the guards and have the curtains drawn. Then it didn't get cold. I kept it warm. Have you seen the Persian campfires? Yes. Thousands of them. Beautiful sight, isn't it? Beautiful. Sit down, will you? You read Greek, don't you? You know I do. Read that, will you? Uh, to yourself. While I drink this. Alexander, that was a foolish thing to do. Why? This report might have been true. Might. You've no right to take risks like this. Did you see this man? Yes. And did he ask you to poison me? Yes. And you said you would? If I hadn't, he would have asked someone else. I'm not the only person in your camp. Why didn't you try to kill me? Tomorrow, I'm going to try to kill your son. Alexander, why must you fight him? He's less than a mile away out there. I could go to him now. I could, I could offer him peace. He would be a fool to accept it. He would from me. I'll go, Alexander. I'll go gladly, if you'll only let me. No, Mother. I won't let you. What harm has he ever done you? None. Why do you hate him? I don't hate him. If he's anything like you, I think I might love him. And yet you must. I must. Tell me, did Darius hate his father? No, he, he loved his father. Why? What made you think? Oh, uh, I was just wondering. When did he die? Oh, it must be nearly 20 years ago now. Did you love him too? Yes, very dearly. Good night, Mother. Good night, my son. Mephistian. Mephistian. There they are. Straight ahead. The chariots. The chariots. They're coming now. Let them pass, Phalanx. Let them pass. Destroy them! No! Destroy them! Companion cavalry! Charge!
Andreas! Wake up! Wake up, we have no moment to lose. What? What? Only a sip. It's precious. We shall have to ride through the day. That's enough. Oh, please. No, we can't spare it. Now listen to Raz. You must try to understand. Alexander is only an hour or two behind us. Did you hear what I said, sir? Yes. He left the road to the last village and is riding straight for us the short way through the open desert. You said that wasn't possible. I said no man in his senses would try it. You remember what I said, Bessus? Yes, you were right and I was wrong. Now get up, sir, please. I said uh, he is neither a man nor in his senses. Now get onto your feet, sir. <laughs> is it strange, Bessus, that as he is a god, he should have taken him so long to catch us? He hasn't caught us yet. If we can get into the mountains, he never will. Not if he leaves his myth thrash himself. Courage, sir, courage. How far to the mountains? About 800 miles. <laughs> How short a way you make it sound. We've already come twice that distance. I'd forgotten my empire was so wide. Let me go back to my card and sleep. Wake up! Wake up! Leave me, Bessus. Save yourself. Thank you for all you have done for me. But leave me now. Let me sleep. Sir, your men are waiting for your orders. My men? How many men have I this morning? Three hundred. No more desertions? Three hundred is a large army. With it, if I were Alexander, I could conquer the world. Darius can still reconquer the world. Reach the mountains, you can have an army of many, many thousands. Listen, my way. Riding straight for us. How many? About 50. Is Alexander with him? A black horse, a red cloak. The gods have delivered him into our hands. Darius. Darius, did you hear that? Alexander is riding straight for us. 50 against 300. Get the men into battle formation. Sir, they're out of hand. Some have ridden off. The others. Darius. Darius, how do you meant to fight? Soldiers of Persia! Hear your king, Darius! Soldiers of Persia, I, Darius, great king of Persia and lord of Asia, order you to lay down your arms and surrender yourselves to Alexander. Ah! Where's my horse? Leave me. The king! I am your king! Leave me to my horse! Bessus! Bessus! Why am I alone? Come quickly, someone. Come quickly. The master of the world is dying. And he must lay successful. My attendants. Mazaris, where are you? My Thomas is. Spitaveris. Someone must hear to whom I bequeath my empire. Who are you? The enemy. Come here, my friend. Listen. I'm dying, and you must listen to what I have to say. Am I listening? I, Darius, great king of Persia. Uh, uh, do you still hear me, Greek? I, Darius, great king of Persia, do hereby name as my lawful and true successor, Alexander of Macedon. I solemnly adjure you with my name. What are you all staring at? None of you ever seen a dead Persian before? 